Hello guys, recently I saw a tweet by Dries Vince that good old our beloved Laravel IO portal, which is 12 years old now, got updated with filament admin panel with the work of Patricio and Hossein. And since it's open source, I decided to take a look inside what is this filament panel actually doing. So I cloned the repository, installed it locally and looked at filament code. And in this video, I will show you random tips. It will be kind of like code review. What can we learn about filament from Laravel IO new admin panel? So without further ado, let's go. The first thing I want to show you is who can access that admin panel. So there is a URL which is public admin login and some users can sign in into that dashboard of Laravel IO. In this case, it's fake data. I took it from official seeders. But if we take a look at the official users table, there is an email test example with type three. What does it actually mean? So in filament, as many of you probably know, there's scan access panel on user model. But in this case, it's also filament project and outside of filament, there's also login. So in this case, Laravel IO uses policy for both. So can access panel uses user policy admin constant, which refers to the method of admin, which in this case returns the administrator right if it's is admin or is moderator, which are functions inside of user model, which check the type column value, that number that you saw here. And there are also constants inside of the user model itself, like this. So it's an interesting decision in terms of using policies with constants for roles. So in case of new role is needed, probably new constant will be here and some changes in the user policy without changing anything in the database. So there's no relationship to roles. There is no package like spicy permission or anything. But the main thing from filament point of view, what I wanted to emphasize is that the policy is used for can access panel here, but the same policy is used for outside login. So if we search for user policy admin here on the left, for example, one of the cases is in navigation blade of outside portal outside of filament where that policy is also used with the same fashion. This is actually linked to filament admin panel and also horizon link, which is the same condition as in can access panel. So pretty interesting decision in terms of using policies for filament and outside of filament. The next thing we can take a look at customizations of visual elements in terms of panel provider in admin panel provider, maybe some methods will be new to you. So for example, the color, you can override the primary color, which matches probably the color of Laravel IO itself, the portal. So this is where that color theme comes from. Also top navigation is enabled by where that is top navigation here. Also a few global methods to disable global search to enable SPA behavior to override the brand logo, which is in the images. So this logo comes from SVG file. Also there's user menu item and user menu items are here in addition to profile. Oh, there's no profile link. There's only horizon, which is probably for managing queues. And yeah, it works. The horizon link actually works. I don't have that queue enabled and executed locally. But yeah, there's the link again, only for admins. So yeah, a few global customizations for styling and global behavior. So similarly, how in Laravel, there's bootstrap app for a lot of global configuration, admin panel provider is the same thing for filament where you can enable a lot of things. Next, let's take a look at the resource of articles. And this is interesting. Only the table of articles is here. So if we take a look at the resource of article resource, there's only one page in the list. So there is no create or edit page. And in the list article, there's only one action to view the article, which opens the article itself in the new tab, the public version. So there is no editing of the article It's just for viewing of the data. So kind of read only table with search and filters. So if we go to the table itself, the action on record actions is just 
make view with the URL and new tab like this. Also, we can comment on one of the columns, which is more interesting image column, which gets the data from author relation GitHub ID. For example, in this case, articles, author ID in the database, we get to author ID three, and this is GitHub ID. I'm not sure if it's fake or real, probably fake, I guess, but then that column gets that GitHub ID, but it doesn't show the actual image from that column. Instead, default image URL is constructed from the state, which is GitHub ID itself. If we do have that state, then we return the string of sprintf from avatars on GitHub. This is the public URL for avatars. Otherwise, we return just gray placeholder. So this is kind of the trick how to show GitHub images by people, but in general also how to modify the image column with default image URL, returning the string with full URL to the image. The next resource is replies, which is similar only for viewing, it would seem, but also there is delete. So delete is not a page, but there is no edit page or create new reply page, which is probably logical. So in the resource, similarly, we have only one get pages record in the array. And this is interesting. To be honest, I haven't seen that function ever in my life before, but I'm guessing what it does, disabling global scope of soft deletes on the reply in the model, because reply is an eloquent model and probably by default, it has soft deletes here. So for that table, even soft deleted replies are probably shown in the table. And if we go to that replies table, this sounds familiar probably, image column, same thing. Or actually this is interesting, another tip. Text column author relation name, which is name from users table, but as description of the column, they show GitHub username, which looks like this which is very neat in my opinion. So user and real person's name, especially since we have the space in the table because of the content, it looks really informative and useful. And again, similarly in record actions, we have action make view with the link to thread, which is the link outside of filament. If we try to click it, yep, it opens the page again with fake data, but we go outside of filament if we want to view the actual thread or article or something like that. So it seems like filament was created mostly for viewing the data and reviewing the data with again search and filters. And finally third resource is users. Guess what? There's no edit or create functionality which is again logical but there's view and also a few extra actions with users. So for users, Filament has some functionality. Let's take a look. The user resource is very similar. Again, only list users, only the table, there's no form. But if we go to that users table, let's take a look. Image column, text column, we've seen that already, similar things. This may be interesting to you. So the type is the number, you remember, users type, one, two, or three. But then depending on the number, it actually shows the text as a badge like this, user. Looks more professional. I'm not sure, I guess I would use enum here somewhere, but then it would probably require refactoring pretty much half of the code related to types. So this is one of those cases probably that don't touch what works. So it's a bit of repeating data with the constants that I showed earlier, but it's not a huge deal and probably understandable. Then there's icon column, boolean. So if band add is not null, that boolean would turn into a check mark true. And let's actually try to do that. If we go to actions, record actions, one of the actions should be ban user. So actually action group is another tip. So you can have actions like this, but then also separately have action group with many more actions. So let's try to ban author, reason, testing, confirm, and yeah, banned. So this is how it works. And that action is powered by this action make. So there's a schema with the reason, then checkbox, and then the action is ban user with dispatch. This is probably a job, which could be in a queue. So we fill in the band and and reason and we send the notification with success. And then the table gets refreshed with this icon column changed. And there are a few similar actions like ban author and verify author, which is almost the same structure, all with the jobs with dispatch 
sync so i guess not much to add here in the actions the final thing i would touch upon probably is the dashboard widgets and this is important thing for the dashboard widgets especially for numbers you can use cache extensively so this is an example article stats overview with get stats and returning probably stat make yeah so a lot of stat makes has those cards tiles so article published so those four our stat make but the numbers total published total and others are cached so for each of them there's cache remember for five minutes in this case but it's configurable within one variable in this case so a query or it could be even potentially actually one query to get the data and then working with collection I'm not sure what would be faster to be honest in this case we have four queries to the database which are cached and probably perform well especially since there are no potential performance issues as there are only a few admins I guess or even Dries himself is just one admin I'm not sure in other words I think this dashboard does not get a very heavy load by many users so yeah this was the review of changes proposed in the PR by Hossein Saad great job overall so i will put the link to that pull request so you can read all the backstory and discussions between the author and Dries and others and also check out each file changed individually if you want what do you think have you learned anything new to you or was there something that i missed or was there something that i need to touch deeper in separate videos let's discuss all of that in the comments below and if you want more filament examples and you want to support my work here on the youtube channel you can go to filamentexamples.com we recently updated most of the examples to filament 4 except for the ones where packages are not ready yet for v4 so a lot of various examples can be accessed by purchasing the membership with that you get the access to github with all those sources the link to that is also in the description below that's it for this time and see you guys in other videos